hi everyone welcome to another video in this video i will tell you about uh, how we can use the new feature idea box in canvas apps let's take a business scenario i am on a model driven app now here i can create a loan record for a customer let me create a loan record for the customer now you can mark here in the amount field it is taking the monetary value right now it's because this is taking monetary value i am expecting that the monetary value should be displayed as a currency in the canvas apps also whenever i will display records right now let me save this right so i will just try to save this uh, by giving some information okay let's say right so let me save it now for this customer I have created a loan record and the amount is uh, 20 lakhs 70 thousand uh, rupees right now if I'll go to canvas apps the, I have created a canvas app to connect this loan uh, record information now what I can so this is my canvas app let me go to dashboard and try to view loans if you click on view loans you will see it is showing only three records although I have Four records let me check how many records are there so there are four records so what you can do you can close it and again you have to run the app from scratch and you can see it should load the latest data if it is not loading you can refresh the data by placing a let, let me pl place a uh, reload icon because it should load the data whenever i want right so let me change the color to this and write down a power fx refresh or reload i want to refresh the data which data loans or i can i can use reload right i want to reload loans I think that is refresh guys refresh uh, you can see your loans right now let me uh, run it and refresh it right now it is now trying to update the latest record or display that latest record by connecting to the database so this is the new record that is populated now you can mark here in canvas app although I am showing this currency this is showing as a number right so this is very bad right but i want to display as a currency format now to display as a currency format what you can do you can go to the gallery and select this and write down some power effects because in the text property it has been written this item dot amount which is very simple to display uh, the amount raw field in here but if you want to display as a different format what you can do you have to write some power effects here then you have to remember the power effects which power effects is used to uh, display this uh, uh, value um, in a currency format so you do not need to remember right now at this moment because microsoft has introduced there is an idea box right this is the idea box which will help you to uh, generate the power effects for you let me my intention is to format data so i can click on this format data and choose the format formatted data i want from this desired format you see i want to display this now you see it is displaying the uh, function how it will how it is displaying you see right so now it is displaying so if you if you want to display this you can use this power effects now you can click on this and click on apply so automatically the uh, field will be formatted for you you see now it is showing as a currency field if you run it right now if you want to display as a uh, currency because i am capturing here using uh, indian rupees but here it is showing now us dollar that means you have to take an use here in the you see now it is displaying right now if you run you can you can see the indian rupees now the point i just want to make here in <coughs> in this video is you do not need to remember this formula the formula written here text then this thing the second parameter third parameter right 
so microsoft or the idea box will generate the uh, power effects for you so very easily i i i did i have not remembered this what to use right why i will remember i can just use idea box and it will work <laughs>